everybody it's good to see you good to be with you this way uh, it is a beautiful day out this is gonna be probably my most favorite time of the year I love summer and I love it when it's warm like this so hopefully you can get out and enjoy a little bit of it today there's something I wanted to share with you um, that it just it just kind of blew me away uh, so um, you, most of us know the story of David and Goliath. You know, Goliath, the big giant warrior from the Philistines, David, the little shepherd boy from the Israelites, and, you know, Goliath challenging the Israelites, and David coming out with a slingshot and a, a, a few rocks and, and taking down the giant. But there's something in that story, something that happens before the more famous part of the story, that I wanted to share with you. Um, it comes from 1 Samuel chapter 17, and, and it says, Early in the morning, David left the flock in the care of a shepherd, loaded up and set out as Jesse, his dad, had directed. He reached the camp, it's the camp of the Israelites, as the army was going out to its battle stations, shouting the war cry. Okay? So David gets there, the army's heading out to its battle station. Nothing too amazing about that. But earlier we read, for 40 days, Goliath had come forward every morning and every evening and took his stand challenging the army of Israel. 40 days, morning and evening, that means the, the, the Israelite army had been getting up, doing its breakfast thing, heading out to the, to the um, battle lines, standing there yelling, screaming, shouting, and then doing not, not doing anything, right? And then going back to their camp, having lunch, maybe taking a nap, who knows, and then going back out in the evening to their battle lines and standing there shouting, yelling, screaming, and then going back to their camp and, and, and spending the night. Forty days this had been going on. And of course, David gets there and he goes, why is this going on? Why don't you guys do something? And then David goes out and actually does something about it. He got me to thinking, what is there in my life? What is there in your life that we've been allowing to go on for days, weeks, months, years, for 40 days, 40 weeks, 40 months, 40 years. And we've been yelling and we've been screaming and we've been carrying on, but we haven't really been doing anything. I encourage you today to think about what that might be in your life and then make today the day you become more like David and make something happen. And you keep loving Jesus. You keep loving people. You keep reaching out to the world around you, and we'll see you real soon.